What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and earlier today we received a pretty big patch update in Black Ops 3. So if you guys want to know everything that was changed, feel free to check out the other video I put up earlier this afternoon. I'll link it down in the description. But uh, in this video, I wanted to take a look at what was done with the Vesper. So uh, Vaughn said in his tweets that some ARs and SMGs were tweaked and balanced in this update. We aren't sure which ones and what was done, but he did a hint towards the Vesper getting a nerf. So before the patch came out, I tested it on recoil, range, and rate of fire, and then I did the exact same tests after the patch came out to see if anything was a noticeable change. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not like I have super, you know, hard in-game stats and stuff like that. Like this is a, a little bit more of a generic kind of overview type test, but uh, something did definitely stick out and that my friends is the recoil. It's got a lot more recoil now. So you guys are gonna see in this gameplay right here, this is before the patch and I'm standing just like right in front of this garage, aiming right at the middle of the garage. And typically the recoil will kick up to about this line right here. Like that's kind of like the, the max of the Vesper before this patch. Now uh, after the patch, if we switch over, I'm gonna stand in the exact same spot, shoot the same place in the garage. But you guys are gonna see that the recoil often kicks up and finds its way all the way up here to this line, which is pretty crazy. Like that's a pretty significant uh, increase in the recoil. It also kind of recoils, you know, kind of like to the right and to the left more as well. So the recoil is pretty significant at this range. Like this is extremely close range. Imagine what it's like to try to use the Vesper at medium range or even long range now. Like it's gonna be very, very, very hard to control. So. Yeah, the recoil was dramatically increased. I would say at least like, you know, 30, maybe 40% which is a, a pretty big change. So uh, it's gonna be definitely more of a, uh, a close range weapon than it was before. Uh, in terms of the other things that I tested for the range and for the rate of fire, the rate of fire did not change, which I was kind of surprised about. I feel like the Vesper is such a good weapon because its rate of fire is so strong that no other weapon in the game, even with rapid fire, can compete with it up you know, at close range. So uh, I, just, I thought that was kind of weird. They kept it the same, but uh, they did. The, re or the, the rate of fire stayed the same. And then for the range, it's really hard to tell, especially when you're just kind of like walking back and forth on the map, testing different ranges. It seemed like the range was reduced at the, the four shot and the five shot kill ranges by maybe a footstep or two, but it wasn't really enough to conclude that it was like a, a dramatic change. Like I, I don't think it's really gonna make that much of a difference if there even was a change uh, based on, on my test. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. The Vesper, the new one. It's got the same rate of fire, it's got the same range, but the recoil, Bucks like a Bronco now. It's absolutely insane. It's gonna be a lot harder to control. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this. You know, I, I think the Vesper was kind of overpowered. It's gonna be interesting to see how this shapes out and see if people still stick with this or if they're gonna start using other stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hashtag hopefully the Weevil was buffed. We'll find out on Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Check out one of these two videos screen you've seen yet. Peace out, guys.